how to perform rolling update with Ansible on a Windows-like system, every system administrator knows how important it is to maintain up-to-date your fleet in a modern IT infrastructure. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about module win underscore updates. The full name is ansible.windows.win underscore update, which means that is part of a collection of modules specialized to interact with Windows target host. It's a module pretty stable and out for years and it works on a Windows client and Windows Server operating system. It downloads and installs Windows Update. For Linux target, use the YAM module for Red Hat-like system, APT for Debian-like and Zipper for SUS-like. Parameter the parameter list is pretty wide, but today we are going to focus only on the relevant of our use case. The most important is category underscore names. The options are a lot here. The default is enabled only critical update, security update and update rollup. That makes sense but you could add or remove different categories. I listed all just in case, so you can decide only to update service pack or feature packs. And this looks great! The state parameter specifies if the update is going to be only searched, downloaded or installed. If you prefer to only download the code and perform the actual update in a second time, you need to select Downloaded option, for example. The default is uh, installed. With the reboot option, Ansible is going to automatically reboot the remote host if it is required and continue to install update after the reboot. The default timeout is 1200 seconds to wait until the host is back online from a reboot. You could increase using reboot underscore timeout option. Some system administrators prefer also to keep a log about the update operation using the log underscore path option to save on the target disk a log file of a performance operation. This is a pendor file, so can keep going on and on. You could specify also a list of update title or KB numbers that specify which update are to be searched or installed using the accept underscore list parameter, as well as uh, a list of exclusion in the react underscore list parameter. Demo time. I'm going to show you how to perform rolling update in a Windows-like system using Ansible Playbook. Are you ready? Let's have fun! First of all, let me introduce my demo machine. It's a standard Windows machine that has plenty of update. Oh, let me check it out with you. Update, check for update. And we are going to see the result on the control panel. Just one second and we are going to see a lot of things. Okay, let me retry and check it out how many update visit war station is pending. Just one second, my Windows machine is checking the official Windows update website and return the amount of 
update as you can see there is a lot of things going on and uh, I could also see the update history not a lot uh, some one definition update and now it is going to perform everything I'm going to stop the update and uh, perform with Ansible playbook are you excited? let's move it on welcome to my editor first of all let's begin our yaml document with three dash and then a name for our ansible play windows rolling update that is going to target us all of my ansible inventory only one task named install all critical and security updates We are going to use uh, ansible.windows.win underscore updates. Some parameter. First of all, category underscore names. We are going to specify only critical update and security update. we are going to ignore all the other type of, of update the state must be installed of this uh, update let me enable reboot just in case uh, is needed and let me save the result to the log path c slash ansible.txt simple in a few lines of code, we are able to target our Windows host to install critical and security update and save a log file in C hard drive. That's it, no more. Welcome to the terminal of my Ansible controller. Let me execute my code using ansible-playbook. Let me specify inventory file with dash e and then the name of my ansible playbook. In my case, update.yml. The amount of time of execution depends by a lot of things. First of all, uh, the speed of your target machine, the speed of your network connection, as well as the amount of uh, Windows update to install. So in my case, uh, the workstation is almost updated, so I'm not expecting to take a lot of time. But in your case, it could take more and more. Um, oh, cool, the system was already up to date. As you can see, no change status, which means everything was fully up to date. Let me execute twice just for the sake of double check and this is great. As you can see, this is a great resource to use Ansible to maintain up to date your fleet without any manual intervention. Good job Ansible. After the execution, I'm going to connect again to my Windows machine and check it out the log file that we were storing under CR drive ansible.txt and here we are. We have a long file with uh, all the list of uh, downloaded and uh, installed software. It's going to take a while to take a look, uh, so guys, uh, grab uh, a cup of coffee or tea, as you prefer, uh, and uh, review together this stuff. All the log entry, as you can see, there are date and time where everything started and the process. So it's a great resource to um, understand what was happening in your infrastructure. Now you know how to perform rolling update in Windows-like system. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general, 
keep in touch with me. Have a great day and see us on the next IT adventure on Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.